today we are going to be going over the mod list on my Nissan 350Z. Uh, I wanted to go over everything that I've done to this car. I wanted to show you how much everything costs. All right, guys, so to start off with on the front end here, we have this uh, stock OEM hood, but we just have a clear ball, clear ball wrap over it. Uh, this is how we got the car. As you can tell, it's all scratched up and has a bunch of rock chips and stuff. So the clear bra has done its job, but it does look kind of nasty and it has seen better days. So at some point I will be removing this. But at the moment, until I get a new hood or some more clear bra or something, I don't want to remove it because it is doing its job. So the car came like that. It has it on the uh, hood and the two fenders. So yeah, nothing too crazy there, but it is something nonetheless. So moving down to the front bumper here, I got the front bumper off of Craigslist and it came with all these black um, black accent pieces here. So it comes with the Z-Badge, blackout Z-Badge, this little carbon fiber cutout here, these blacked out uh, side markers, and they painted the front part of the bumper. So I kind of like how it looked. My bumper was cracked, so I had to go get a new one. I didn't want to go buy an aftermarket one just yet. I got this thing for like $100, so it wasn't too bad. Just... All right, guys, so right here I have my wheels and tires. So. I'm currently running a staggered setup of 19s in the back and 18s in the front, I believe. Uh, these are 275, 30, 19s. I got these off of a guy off of Craigslist. They're just some stock G35 wheels, but they look pretty good. I got them for a pretty good price. I got them for about $300 for all four. And uh, the reason why I picked Nankangs, the rears were shot on the ones that I bought. The reason I picked Nankangs were that they were really the cheapest pair I could get. So. It was like $250 for, for the two uh, rear tires, so I could deal with that. So they're pretty good. Uh, I drifted these a couple times and I've had them for probably a good 15,000 miles and they lasted just fine. So nothing too crazy, just some stock wheels and tires, but um, I will be getting a new, a new set pretty soon, so keep an eye out for those. So this is just a quick little easy mod that I did. This is one of the first mods that I actually ended up doing to my car with these, just these side skirts right here side skirt extensions whatever you want to call them i just got them off of amazon they were like a hundred dollars for the pair so nothing too crazy just put some self tappers in there um i think they look pretty cool just a little accent piece nothing too crazy so 100 bucks on amazon it's not too bad all right guys so the next thing up is this duck bill uh, as you guys could have seen in a previous video uh, i ended up just painting this myself um there's some imperfections but you know what can you do this is the first time i did it so uh, this duck wheel cost me about $200 or so. I got it off of Amazon. Uh, it's just held on by 3M tape. Nothing too crazy. I think it looks pretty good. So I could have left it black or paid someone to do it, but I think doing it myself would, uh, was a little better. So the duck wheel was about $200. And cleaning it with all the supplies in the paint costed about 300 bucks. So if you want to include that in the cost of this duck wheel, go ahead. But the duck wheel is almost $200. Uh, the next thing I have was louvers from Amazon as well. They're about another $200. Uh, I just sprayed painted them black. They were just like matte black color and I wanted a more of a glossy black. So about $200, about $30 in spray paint, give or take. So nothing too crazy. That's all held in by 3M. So nothing too crazy there. Uh, the next thing up I have The next thing I have is this uh, windshield wiper delete. You had to uh, do the delete to put in the louvers. So yeah, that one was like 10 bucks. So you can get that just about anywhere. And after that, it is this little antenna delete or shorten this little thing right here. Just a couple bucks, nothing too crazy. So moving on to the front. This is my favorite thing by far so the next thing we got going on is these um racing bucket seats uh they are cypher bucket seats they were about 500 dollars, as you can see from these seats they are pretty nice they're like leather they have a red ring going around them they're really good they have the cutouts for the uh, harnesses which i will be doing at some point but these were about 500 dollars. the brackets cost about 100 125 dollars but the brackets needed uh, some fabricating, I guess, some modifying uh, to fit the passenger seat. So I can kind of go into more detail about that later. But um, yeah, so that that's it for the seats. I will be getting harnesses and a harness bar pretty soon. Uh, but next thing I have in the interior is this Mishimoto shift knob. 
Uh, it was about $20 or so off of Amazon. Nothing too crazy, just a shift knob. Uh, I got the car with this Pioneer head unit already installed in it. Nothing crazy, just just a head unit, probably about 200 bucks. So next thing up is this energy steering wheel. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've done to this car. So the whole getup was probably about $500 in total uh, with the steering wheel quickly in the hub, but uh, it feels super awesome. It also, it's, it's black and red to complement the seats, but yeah, it just feels super awesome. Feels so much better than the stock um, wheel. All right guys, so for the performance and everything you guys won't be able to see about this car, uh, I'm just gonna kind of do it from this angle. Uh, for performance, to start off with, I have a k and holder intake. So that was about $200. I am also running a Megan's Racing White Pipe, Manzo Racing Test Pipes, and NVIDIA N1 Catback. So I have a full exhaust from the headers back. So it sounds really good. That's probably one of the biggest questions I get about my car is my exhaust setup. So for the whole exhaust setup was roughly $1,000, which is give or take the same price as a uh, Tomei. A lot of people ask, why didn't I go for a Tomei? And I just thought for the same price, there was no reason for me to not upgrade everything. With with a Tomei, I believe a uh, stock 350 cannot shoot flames. This car shoots flames for the same price. So I just think it was a better deal to get everything done except instead of just the Tomei. Um, but that's the exhaust setup. And the last thing I didn't show you guys, you guys can tell is the uh, God, Spring, God Spring lowering springs. So that's it. Those are about $200 as well. And they get the car really good. Uh, uh, stands to it. I'll, I'll do a couple drive-bys and just see how the car sounds and see you guys, what you guys think. But uh, yeah, that's about it for the car. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this car by no means is done, but I really wanted just to keep showing you guys the process, see what I can do in about six months time. So in six months, I have a real big surprise coming. Hopefully it might happen a little bit sooner, but no more than six months. So in terms of the total, I haven't added it all up. I feel like I've probably spent about four thousand dollars give or take uh, we'll see i got the car for eighty five hundred bucks so that's a total of about twelve grand or so but i will put a picture somewhere of how much i've actually spent on the car so mm -hmm.